Flippin' the bird, finger fucking Freemason's longhorn hand signal, 9-11. The elite of the world, being totally obsessed with hand signals, symbolism and other such loony distractions, are beyond glee filled when they perform their childish pranks right in the face of the masses at large. One such theatrical maneuver is the longhorn bull hand signal which seems to know no distinction between friend or foe. Elitism is elitism, plain and simple. The chart below shows what this ludicrous signal is symbolizing and how it is a constant subliminal use to re-implant the 9-11 agenda, which is the sexual union of the mother and the sun, or, the sun and moon, which is the worship of Solomon and the G and B sacrifice pillars. This hand signal relates directly to the events of 2013 occurring in Cyprus and the tax levy instituted upon the depositors with over 100,000 euros in their accounts. As mentioned on the previous page, the levies didn't hold and the Cyprus Popular Bank has been declared a bad bank and will be eliminated. This bad bank symbolism corresponds directly to the west coast of America which is ironically experiencing bank erosion in various places from Washington to California. What is also suggested with this hand signal, is that, just as the 9.0 magnitude earthquake and tsunami in Fukushima Japan suggested that someone was going to get fucked, this time, everyone is going to get the finger. The small pictures in the top left corner of the chart, shows George Bush hand signal and how the numbers 9 and 11 are hidden therein. Finger cuff, the UK rock equals 11 western states after the big one and the flood. The chart immediately below illustrates how the United Kingdom and Ireland are the 11 western states after the big one and the flood. The UK, or Great Britain, were the world empire, where it's been said, the sun, sun, never sets, set. The importance that the UK plays in the Luciferian agenda for total control cannot be overstated. Suffice it to say, the UK is pivotal as to how this whole Luciferian thought process is to unfold. On the chart below, many things are simply listed to enter the terms and locations into the scenario of the information that will follow. One of the main intents of this chart is to establish the significance of the southwest peninsula finger of England, and how the symbolism that dominated the 2012 London Olympics is progressing through this finger of land where all the red dots indicate many of the larger communities in this geographical region. Notice that this is a finger of land. This corresponds to the finger, or sexual digital stimulation illustrated in the above chart. This digital stimulation also relates to the digital money exercise now occurring in the form of Bitcoin on the internet. More will be said of that later on, time permitting. The chart below shows the UK and Ireland rotated approximately 180 degrees and reversed. The 11 western states borders are then overlaid and some strange relationships occur. The southwest finger of England is now in Montana with its great divide face and the finger points towards Washington state. Washington State corresponds to building 6 of the destroyed WTC of 911. This is now the location of the new Freedom Tower, or One World Trade Center. This chart shows how Washington State, Oregon, California and almost all of Arizona are covered with water. A great portion of Idaho, the Hell's Gate and Snake River Canyon regions, and about one half of Utah, the Great Salt Lake region, are also inundated. This corresponds to the notion that a massive egg and tsunami will occur here such as was not since man was on the face of the earth. This southwest portion of England symbolically begins at London and the 2012 Olympics. These Olympics corresponded to the names and locations surrounding the Sandy Hook School Massacre with names like Waterbury, Glastonbury, etc. and are located in the region of Stonehenge, which just recently, has been discovered to be a mass burial graveyard site. The symbolism of the 2012 London Olympics also included symbolic references to the pirate Captain Hook and his buried treasure at Sandy Hook Bay, New Jersey. The events that have just occurred in Cyprus will now be shown to relate to the region of Black Hill Cove, adjacent to Barnes Tapel Devon, in southwest England, just a bit further west on the Finger Peninsula, heading towards Lands and at the very western tip of Cornwall, England. The name Lands End strongly suggests the west coast of America which is quite literally the end of land as one travels to the west. The symbolism relating to Black Cove and Barnes Tapel corresponds to Long John Silver and Treasure Island, where the story is situated at Black Hill Cove near Barnes Tapel, where Long John Silver ran a tavern called the SPY Glass Tavern. The name Black Hill Cove relates to the Black Hills of South Dakota, immediately adjacent to the 11 western states, and the location of the massive carving on Mount Rushmore, including Presidents Lincoln, Washington, Jefferson and Roosevelt, this also relates to the Black Sea in the vicinity of Cyprus, which will be the location of the 2014 Winter Olympics at Sochi, Russia, right on the Black Sea. Yet again, 
This relates to the black dot on the treasure map in the Treasure Island story which showed the location of the buried treasure of gold. Treasure Island equals Cyprus, Long John Silver equals Lion Iron Solomon. The story of Treasure Island is a very powerful hypnotic subliminal reaching back over an illusory century of time. In much the same way that the Lone Ranger, Leon, Lion, Ranger, Orion, Orion, and the phrase Hi Yo Silver Away, suggested the connection to Solomon and the eventual rise of the price of silver, which is suggesting the rise of water. Now the name Long John Silver refers to the Lion of Orion, which is likewise suggesting the very same thing. Long John Silver and crew boarded the schooner called Hispaniola. They were under the command of Captain Alexander Smollett. They sailed off to the Caribbean where they attempt to seize the treasure immediately. Hispaniola is also the name of the island that Columbus discovered and established his first permanent settlement in the New World. This he did on Christmas Day in 1492 when his ship, the Santa Maria, ran aground. He called the settlement Navidad, which suggests Nevada, as mentioned previously on this site. This relationship to Columbus, Nevada, Hispaniola, Haiti and Dominican Republic today, is a simple hypnotic button pusher, where the events in the story of Long John Silver will now connect with the events that have occurred in Cyprus and which will spread rapidly through the rest of the financial world. Following is a list of terms which will assist in establishing this interconnectivity and to comprehending this hideous mind manipulation game of conjuring up our 3D illusory reality. Cyprus equals Pyrus equals Pirates Cyprus Banks plundered by Pirates Captain Flint equals Long John's Parrot equals Pirate Cyprus equals Scuppy equals Supper, Marriage Supper of the Lamb Supper equals Suppers equals Suppress Somalia Pirates equals Solima or Solomon Pirates Patriot equals Pirate equals Pirate. Relating to Civil War Chatter in USA Cyprus equals Cypriot equals Pirot equals Pirate Cypriot equals Shipride equals Pirot Soap equals Stop Online Piracy Act Soap equals Soap to Cleanse the Earth Cyprus equals Cyprus, Fir Trees, Lined the Walls and Floors of the Holy Place in Solomon's Temple Cyprus equals Fir equals Fire Cyprus equals Pyrus equals Piracy equals Piracy Piracy equals Piracy equals Piracy or Fire in the Sea Fire in the Sea equals Pacific Ocean Ring of Fire Piracy same suggestion as Pyramid or Fire in the Midst Skull and Bones logo equals Pirate Skull and Bones Flag Poison Symbol equals Skull and Bones Poison equals Poisson equals Fish in French. Treasure Island is a story of Buccaneers and Buried Gold. Buccaneers B word buried gold, B and G word, Treasure Island was written by Robert Louis Stevenson under the pseudonym Captain George North. George equals George, Yorai, Rio equals Rio equals River equals Revere equals to worship equals warship equals rawship equals ra hips equals rose hips equals vitamin C, C equals water hips equals water breaking equals water birth equals water rose equals rose, North equals throne, Robert Louis Stevenson published Treasure Island on May 23, 1883. The publishing company was called Caswell & Company, now part of Orion Publishing Group. The date May 23, 1883 equals 5-23-1883 equals or symbolically 5-11-911. One day before the date of publication, May 22, is 333 days before Hitler's birthday on April 20. May 22 is 223 days till the end of the year. 223 suggests 322. The Skull and Bones number. May 23rd, the date of Treasure Island being published is 222 days until the end of the year. The largest earthquake in recorded history, 9.5 mag. Occurred in Valdivia, Chile on May 22nd, 1960. From May 23rd, 1883 to May 22nd, 1960 equals 77 years. The Valdivia occurred at 1911 GMT, suggesting 911, or local time of 1511 3.11 p.m. which is a direct harmony to 9.11, and occurred at a depth of 33 kilometers. Robert Louis Stevenson died at 44 years of age. The Lion King, Lincoln, Obama number. Just as The Lone Ranger was first aired on radio on January 30, 1933, the day Hitler came to power, establishing a symbolic connection to Hitler, so too, the story of Long John Silver and Treasure Island is symbolically connected to Hitler and the largest earthquake in recorded history. It should be pointed out that as this Cyprus tax levy was implemented, Pope Francis was well on his way to taking control of many symbolic traditions within the Catholic Church, totally annoying the traditionalists with the Church who couldn't stand his show of piety. At the same time, President Barack Obama was making his triumphal entry into Jerusalem on the Democratic Party donkey. 
with the novel twist occurring when his limousine, which is called the Beast was filled with diesel and was unable to operate. Thereupon the President flew into Jerusalem in a helicopter. Even more symbolic than a luxury tank limo. The Federal Reserve and the German Central Bank of 1876 the Reichsbank, joined at the hips, ships, before continuing with the Treasure Island story and its relationship to the 11 western states and to the Sandy Hook School Massacre. Study the chart below which illustrates the symbolic interconnection between the USA Federal Reserve and the original German Central Bank called the Reichsbank, which existed from 1876, 100 years after the USA became a country, until 1945 and overthrow of Hitler and the Nazis. Of course, Hitler and the Nazis weren't actually overthrown, but were simply relocated throughout the world in the form of central banks and other nonsensical organizations such as NASA, Nazi, and Zionism. Zion equals Nazism, of which the USA would be the sacrificial lamb offered up in undeniable fashion to prove the might and power of the thought process gods of old. Dot all of which is bullshit. But hey. Interesting plot. On the chart immediately below, 100 years unfolded from the USA becoming a country until the Reichsbank was formed in 1876. From 1913, when the Federal Reserve was established, Another 100 years passed until 2013 when the Cyprus symbolism took place. Now look where we are today in this illusory timetable, now in 2015 and on the verge of a total worldwide financial collapse. There were 37 years between the establishment of the Reichsbank and the Federal Reserve, almost to the day, for a total of 237 years from 1776 to 2013. Keep in mind that the number 37 relates directly to the Lion King, Lincoln, Obama and the Sphinx amongst other symbolic notions. As shown on the chart the number 137 occurs 2x, and the number 37 occurs 1x. This suggests the two pillars of Solomon's temple, which were symbolized with the two 110-story tall twin towers. The 22-story tall Marriott Hotel was situated between the twin towers. Dividing 110 by 22 equals 5. In other words, the Marriott was built to be sacrificed along with the sacrificial twin towers, and the 100 years plus 100 years plus the 37 years in the middle represents the Towers and the Marriott Hotel. This is also symbolizing the three crosses on the hill of Golgotha, relating to the German family saxe coburg gotha now the royal family of England. Keep in mind also, that the USA money has this little slogan printed on it, In God We Trust. Which is not a reference to some mythical bullshit dude in the sky, but is referring to the money, Moon Eye, Solomon, the Sun and Moon, that it's printed upon money is God. Plain and simple. Everything occurring in regards to every system established in this 3D illusory plane is based upon money and to understand money, is to understand sex, is to understand the Luciferian mindset, is to understand the whole of the thought process agenda. None of which is good or bad, or right or wrong. However it is dangerously manipulative in the 3D sense of things. Whereupon all suffering and pain is conjured up. Unless one becomes aware of the plot unfolding within the agenda. Reichsbank and Federal Reserve, what this shows, the 100 plus 37 plus 100 years, is that the German and US nations and the central banks are intimately tied together in this hidden Luciferian agenda. Along with everything Hitlerian and Lion Kingish. For Hitler and Lincoln are types of the Lion King, or Sphinx, Phoenix that will rise from the ashes. Both are dictatorial entities with a flood of control characteristic personalities. The number 137 is 5 on the 11th. 5 plus 11 equals 16 Lion King, Lincoln, Obama. 5 times 11 equals 55 Sacrifice. Penis <laughs>